Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. Welcome to Monday Show. Mondays are for political discussions. I am here with Mr. Chofaya. Himself. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, sir. How are you doing, young man? Ah, uh, okay. You've added that part for me, so I'm a blessed. I'm a blessed guy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I was going to say I'm a blessed young man, but you uh, added the young man part for me. Okay. Uh, uh, that's very good. That's very good. And uh, and you're you okay? You yeah, already I'm told good. me you're okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. How was your week? It was good. And Busy. your weekend? Well, we just. When was Easter weekend? Was it this one or it was the other one? Easter weekend? Yeah. It was the last one. This, this uh, no, past no, no, not this past week. Not oh, this past the other weekend. one. The other yeah, one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, we actually had a show mm. right after Easter. You had several Easter's maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, anyway, you guys are welcome. How are you doing? You can leave how you're doing in the comments. Tell us if you're blessed guys and girls. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Mondays are for political discussions. Wednesdays are for the educative segment. And Fridays are Bible Talks. We recently did some changes to Bible Talks. If you watched the last one, which we saw poorly advertised, we're going to advertise the next one. Uh, we we did it in the, in the new studio. We've been setting up uh, a new studio for Bible Talks, and we finally did that uh, in readiness for what, where we want to take the Monday show, because this studio was ideally meant for, uh, the political segment of the show, as well as the educative segment of the show. Yeah. yeah so political if, and a lot of current affairs. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think all four under political. Oh yeah. Because political is about a way of life. So it could be okay. clothing, it could be lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So please do subscribe, hit that bell and share, uh, the show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 20 hours Central African time. And the podcast is available on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Same time, same days. Yeah, so we are having Monday show today. A number of things lined up for us to discuss. Uh, we're going to start with the Lord Shedding, uh, the continued Lord Shedding by Zesco. Sounds like a movie. <laughs> Lord Shedding season one by Zesco. <laughs> <laughs> Including the importation of an season additional... Six. Season 36, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, in, including the importation of an additional 40 megawatts. Uh, we're going to discuss Bank of Zambia taking over Indus, Invest Trust Bank, PLC. And we're also going to, dis, uh, to discuss what's going on in, in uh, homes around the country in terms of gender-based violence. Some people have died and it is sad. I was about to say usual chit chat because I saw that on the program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. Uh, this is it. Uh. This is it. Now time for reorganizing as you dis as you encourage the people to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, as you encourage. Yeah, the make sure you press that subscribe button, notification bell, so that you're notified every time we have uh, one of these amazing podcasts. Uh, and then, like, and comment. We want to hear yeah, from you. Yeah. 
yeah. you think about the show? Yeah. Do you think this guy is looking more handsome now or what? This young guy, <laughs> young man. <laughs> I have noticed we have uh, one of our consistent viewers mm. on the show commented last week. He was mm. a bit. Who's that? Not too amused. Who's that? Uh, you see, the comment is there. <laughs> he was a bit not too amused by, uh, by the joke I cracked okay. concerning your friend who had passed away. Uh, so I just had to let him know that he was both our friend and mm. it was sad. Uh, I guess we just treat death differently. Yeah. Yes, you attended the barrier. I need to see the comment. You attended the barrier? Yeah, I uh, attended the Charlie's barrier okay. and funeral. Okay. Yeah, it was a somber moment. Uh, I don't remember seeing uh, a lot of guys like that in one place, like from from our intake back in school. I don't remember seeing the guys. Including in everyone like. else that has died before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I've attended, I think, uh, three or four funerals now. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's as if they are just events. Huh? Yeah. So, like, uh, this know, was the first that really felt like a funeral. No, I didn't say that. This was the first that I saw like a lot of people in one place. Okay. Yeah, the guys from from high school. Okay, almost yeah. asked you how Charlie was taking it, but oh, is it? Almost asked you how Charlie was taking it. Then I realized he wasn't in attendance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the guy actually would have been uh, would have been happy to see that, even if it was another person's funeral. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 yeah it was a sad moment, somber moment, but. Uh, it was also good to catch up again. So it was yeah. a bittersweet moment somehow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get into it. In a strategic move to address the ongoing power deficit affecting Zambia, Zesco Limited has amended its existing power purchase agreement with Mozambique's state-owned energy energy company, Electros, Electro, Electro. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Ele uh, electric. Yeah, electric. that's probably not English. All right. This word was, yeah, electricated or mm, something. EDM. Electricity. Mm. EDM. Yeah, uh -huh, we know them uh -huh. as EDM. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I'm actually <laughs> seeing this like I'm trying to read it for the first time. Yeah. I just know them as EDM. EDM. <laughs> the Zesco of uh, thing. <laughs> and I was just going. <laughs> the Zesco of Mozambique. The Zesco of Mozambique. Oh, yeah. yeah that's the best way to say it. They've got into a deal with the Zesco of Mozambique. <laughs> Um, this amendment extends the original 50 megawatts off-peak power supply agreement by an additional year with an additional 40 megawatts off-peak power. This will ensure a continued and enhanced supply of 90 megawatts off-peak power to Zambia until June 30th, 2025. The extended agreement will, was officially signed at Sierra Resort in Lusaka by Zesco Limited's managing director, engineer Victor Engineer Victor Benjamin Mapani and his EDM counterpart, I don't know what's up with my reading today, Engineer oh. Marcelino Guido Alberto. This amendment comes as a critical step in the series of mitigation measures introduced in March to combat the energy challenges Zambia is currently facing. The additional power supply will be prioritized for sectors crucial to Zambia's economy, including manufacturing, agriculture, and essential services. The strategic focus aims to ensure that the nation's economic drivers remain robust and supported during this period of energy scarcity. Engineer Victor Benjamin Mapani stated, why did they have to add the Benjamin? Makes it a bit, yeah. This amendment is a testament to the strong partnership between Zesco Limited and EDM and our shared commitment to ensuring the stability and growth of Zambia's economy. By securing an additional power supply, we're taking significant steps towards mitigating the current power challenges and ensuring that our nation's critical sectors remain operational and productive. This power supply amendment is a key component of Zesco Limited's comprehensive approach to managing the current energy situation. In addition to this amendment, both Zesco Limited and EDM are currently having further engagements with respect to possible supply of more power so as to cushion the power deficit challenges. Yeah. That's uh, a lot of reading, eh? Yeah, that's a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. So, yeah. uh, for starters, what do EDM use? What do Mozambique use as their for, for power? Oh, Are they relying I'm, I'm on hydro? Away. I'm not aware. Uh, we should have checked. Yeah, that's something, yeah. that's an oversight of our, on our part. Mm. But uh, it means they have some form of abundance of power then. 
if they are. Yeah, but you know, the other thing is that uh, we've got this, uh, uh, this uh, power purchase agreement. Even ourselves, sometimes we supply power to Mozambique. Even with our little power. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, we, we don't know what uh, EDM uses to generate their power and electricity. Yeah, but you know, reading uh, what you just read, Zesco, it's kind of confusing us normies. <laughs> in inverted commas, some of us laymen. Mm, mm. Because, you know, we've been following this thing because some of us are trying to uh, understand what's going on and why we keep on having this problem. Yeah. So when you listen to the president in his announcement that we are declaring a situation a, a disaster, uh, he talks about uh, Zesco and he talks about the power that we are producing and he gives a number in terms of a deficit. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, he said something uh, like a 550 megawatts. And then we listen to the to the Zesco managing director, and of course, in between, you listen to a lot of people, a lot of uh, experts from Zesco, including amazing minds. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you listen now to the to uh, Mr. Mapani, or should I say, Engineer Victor Benjamin Mapani. <laughs> you you listen to him, and uh, uh, he spoke very well the time that I listened to him. Yeah, uh, he gave numbers that were sort of contradicting the the five hundred and fifty megawatts that the president spoke about. Yeah, yeah, he spoke about a deficit being more than that. But I guess that this is also a moving target, right? Mm. A lot of things mm. are changing. Mm. Yeah, but then my point is that we are saying that eh, we are going to because we are already we are already importing from EDM of yeah. Mozambique, right? Mm. We already have a figure that we are importing, which is fifty megawatts, and then we are saying we are adding on what forty. 40 megawatts to make it 90. Exactly. To me, that seems very insignificant. Yeah. Considering okay, yeah, all these yeah, things yeah. that I've told you, the president, what he told us, or what the other experts have been saying, and Victor Mapan himself. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's good, mm. but it seems so insignificant to have even the ceremony that they had. Yeah. Yeah. So, At Sierra Resort with uh, engineer Victor ben, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a bit confusing to us lay people. Especially, so I was surprised. Why are we celebrating a 40 megawatts? It, it legitimately is a yeah. confusing thing because 40 megawatts seems very insignificant compared to what they tell us uh, is missing. Mm. Notwithstanding, right after the interview that he had last week mm. uh, with with uh, Costa, uh, Costa, mm. Costa Mansa, yeah, with Costa mm. Mansa, mm. Uh, he talked about how the possibilities of introducing a staggering of the load shedding hours was not at least in the immediate plans because they were still trying to assess which areas are industrial, which areas are residential. Uh, to our surprise, the staggering came immediately after. And this was the sample that we got from Zesco. Um, they grouped it into three groups, basically, that the first would be from six hours to 10 hours and then 18 to 22. Then the second would be from 10 to 14 and then 22 to, to zero to, oh, I didn't even see this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking forward. <laughs> uh, then there was 14 hours to 18 and 0 to, to 6 hours, which uh, has currently been the schedule that has has been going on at my at my home. Uh, I don't know which one you've been experiencing. Then, uh, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Zesco acknowledges the unique needs of industry and farming operations. These sectors will continue to experience a single uninterrupted eight-hour block of load shedding with 16 hours of full power supply. This schedule allows for better production planning. Yeah, I do agree for... So are they also saying that, uh, because there's, there are several things to this, what you just, sorry. Yeah, sorry yeah. To cut no you. problem, no problem. Yeah, so um, there are a few things, because first of all, that interview that you referred to, yeah. uh, they had a discussion about this, as you said. Yeah. And they said that right now, we don't really have the capacity to do that because yeah. we cannot separate the homes that are, are connected to the lines that are servicing these industrial areas. Essentials and whatnot, yeah. Exactly. So how have they done this again? Yeah, this, that, that's so a shocking, does this that's also a mean, part. Okay. Does, in, their uh -huh. earlier, in the earlier part of their statement, the introduction to their statement, they uh -huh. say they are listening to uh -huh. the cries of the Zambian people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, does it also mean that uh, uh, probably the, the areas that are, the residential places that are connecting to, uh, connected to these places that we talk about that are getting an uninterrupted eight hour uh, block of load shedding. Uh, probably those are still getting also the eight hours. Maybe I'm just trying to think on their. Or the residential. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. It's very, okay. it's very possible. Okay. I, yeah. I would, I would like to believe so. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would like <clears> the other so. thing, the other problem with this whole thing is the schedule. They're not following it. They're, you know, they stipulated very well. 
but they are following it uh, you know, very badly. Yeah, you know what I really They are not like, actually following it. Yeah. In what we've read here, there's mm-hmm. nowhere that says, unless maybe the, the other parts that we, we didn't read of this letter, mm-hmm. there's nowhere that actually states four hours. What they have simply stated is six to 10, 18 mm-hmm. to 24, to 22 rather, which mm-hmm. leaves you to calculate four hours. Mm-hmm. So some people on, on, on social media were saying they did not say four hours. They mm-hmm. said four hours. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll take that as a joke because <laughs> when someone tells you that you'll be losing power, these are the, these are, this is the official. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, it, it is four hours. Yeah. It's, it's a joke. But yeah, exactly. So, but if they're not following it, then. I mean, even the eight hours wasn't being followed like that. Yeah. We, but we had instances where power actually went for 12 hours mm-hmm. yeah uh, yes, yeah so, so i've actually heard people saying uh yeah in danavro <laughs> The first station was tried eight hours then you have to go the second station eight hours <laughs> they're doing 16 hours <laughs> <laughs> and leaving you with eight eight hours of power. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's inconsiderate of people's yeah. uh, fridges yeah. and whatnot. Exactly. I don't know how mm. true that is, but in my area, of course, they've not been consistent. Yeah, and I say we've had sometimes twelve hours, you know. So of, uh, of straight load shedding. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we can only hope uh, at this point, unless we get something really clear on how the staggering was made possible, mm. and also what significance the forty megawatts of power mm-hmm. is. Uh, maybe we'll put in some personal research into this mm. just so we can uh, we can personally have an idea of what this means, the 40 megawatts of power. Mm. What does this really contribute? Mm. Uh, I didn't even know we we're getting nine, uh, 50 megawatts in the first place. I would have assumed we we're getting more. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to do anything to the... Yeah. D- because to to also, me, actually, the other questions is that why are we still... Oh, yeah, we know why we're still exporting. Yeah. But maybe they should give us the numbers as well. They, they should really... I think we need an audit. Yeah, true. A serious I audit agree. just to know all incomes and all, all uh, expenditure mm-hmm. in terms of power. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway, um, in another development, uh, Investors Bank was taken over by Bank of Zambia this past week. The Bank of Zambia has, with immediate effect, taken over Invest Trust Bank PLC due to insolvency. DOZ Assistant Director Communications, Besnat Mwanza, says the bank has had numerous engagements with shareholders to recapitalize Invest Trust Bank. Uh, she says, however, the shareholders have been unable to resolve the insolvency. Under the circumstances, the Bank of Zambia has had to exercise its authority under the law to safeguard financial stability and the interests of the public. The Bank of Zambia is also working with key stakeholders, including the government, on mechanizing, on mechanisms, rather, for depositors not to lose any of their money, she mm. said. Mm. By the way, I heard you say events trans, but last. <laughs> <laughs> the second events ah, trust. That, that word is invest invest trust. <laughs> events trust. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So um insolvency. This yeah. wasn't them declaring insolvency. This was the Bank of Zambia determining that this bank has become insolvent. Oh, really? Uh yes. Okay. Uh okay. and those are two separate things because mm-hmm. the Bank of Zambia is the govern, governing authority. It's mm-hmm. the, the, bankers, the, bank. the bankers' yeah. bank. Yeah, exactly, so the, central bank. Every bank is required to put in uh, a certain amount of money as mm-hmm. as float, mm-hmm. uh, so to say, mm-hmm. for most people who understand their money. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> for some of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they put in float, mm-hmm. and then based on that, they are able to be bailed out in case of anything that happened. If there was mm-hmm. a b- bank robbery, mm-hmm. for example, okay. or, or the, that float that they put in mm-hmm. becomes their insurance ah, okay. money somehow. It's, it's the same way as insurance companies. They so also, it's like they, they subscribe to the central bank. Exactly. Okay. So now, mm-hmm. uh, with that said, there's also targets that they are supposed to meet within given periods of time. and Targets in terms of subscriptions? Uh, no, or their targets, profits, t- yes, in terms of profits. Yeah, okay. um, revenue. Revenue, mm-hmm. I'll say revenue. In mm-hmm. terms of revenue, there are okay. certain targets they're supposed to meet. Mm-hmm. And as long as your revenue is not meeting certain liabilities, mm-hmm. uh, then where your, your, your liabilities grow beyond your your revenue. Simply put, let me just simply put, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, like, you because I'm a layman. Yeah. I understand what you just said, and it makes a lot of sense Yeah, uh, that I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what I want to understand is, does it mean that investors owe more money than they have right now? Yes. 
in in simple terms. So they've got more financial obligations, so to say. Like they, in, insolvency is a bit of a complicated. Uh, it could be that the shareholders themselves mm. are owing. Oh, that the individuals. Yeah. And nothing to do with the bank. Okay, so the way it, it works when you have a a limited company, mm-hmm. that the the word limited mm-hmm. limits your liability mm-hmm. to the company. Mm-hmm. So. If I have a a, a private limited company mm-hmm. with fifteen thousand shares, mm. and I pay fifteen thousand kwacha, which is one kwacha per share, right? That means I've paid up for my for the number of shares I've bought from Pakra because Pakra sells me those shares. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, in the case where the company is owing a supplier or anything like mm-hmm. that, the company. Yes, where the where the, the company is mm-hmm. owing. Mm-hmm. Of course, your shares are entangled in that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, what happens is if all I have paid up for my 15,000 shares mm-hmm. was 7,500, mm-hmm. then my liability in terms of that debt mm-hmm. extends up to 7,500. Ah, I see. Okay, I understand. So the word limited limits your liability to your shares. Mm-hmm. So a public limited company limits the liability to the public shareholders, including the initial shareholders. Okay. That, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It just... Uh, so it could be that mm. w- in a case where shares have not been paid up mm. and the company is now beginning to owe serious money mm-hmm. and now the shareholders become liable okay. to an extent. Yeah, yeah so they, they, there could be many issues. They've not given us so much, uh, but there could yeah, be many you know, issues. From what you explained to, to me, me as a layman, I think conventional banking is a scam in itself. Yeah? Yeah, like you're getting people's money. How is it? They are depositors. That's why they are saying that. Eh? Uh, they are saying they will make sure depositors. Yeah. So, but this this also depositors. does not mean that mm. uh, this does not mean that the bank does not have money. That's why the depositors will get their money. They might be a haircut. Uh, what that what they call a haircut, uh-huh. where they tell them also they will delay getting, them because right now the depositors can't do, can't withdraw. Exactly, yeah. and the haircut is almost, scam. is almost inevitable because they will tell them we are going to chop off about thirty percent from a scam, all friend. your money. That is a scam. <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Prove to me that it's not. Yeah, and uh, the shareholders are apparently too broke to sue us for saying this. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said banking in general, not investors. <laughs> banking in general. So all the banks. It's, wow. it's, it's 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 crazy. So we are sympathetic. Our prayers and thoughts are with everyone banking with investors. Yeah, depositors only. Yeah. Uh, if you have the a loan, and the banks. If I you don't. have a loan with investors, however. Mm. I don't know how they're going to deal with it, but you might get away with it. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very interesting thing. How do they deal with the loans, with the people owing? Mm, it's a bit tricky, but I, I, I really don't know how. I have a check with my haircut. Okay? Yeah, there should be some <laughs> some haircuts. I yeah. know anyway, it's an interesting thing. Yeah. yeah, banking is a very interesting thing. Um, maybe we should mm. one day, anyway. Yeah. yeah, by the way, I've seen banks for in America. Yeah. Just this year, is it this oh, year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we year. had Silicon Valley Bank. Yeah, this year. Uh, we had uh, Signature. Yeah. Uh, there was another one. There were like three of them. You know, the good thing about the American economy is that there are mm. individuals who bank out banks. Yes, who, even the government itself. Yes, even the government itself. But, mm. but you know, you've got people like Warren Buffett. Yeah. Who, has, who is liquid. He's got cash. Mm. His money is both cash and assets mm-hmm. to the extent that if a bank is going under, he can actually give them the money too. Yeah. Because I think people like uh, people who are depositors with Silicon Valley, I think they got their money. They got their money. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we hope that these people will get their money. Yeah. Anyway, on a more violent and sad note, um, GBV has become um, a subject of concern this past few weeks. I've been hearing of a number of stories uh, of either husband killing wife, wife killing husband, or just injury. I actually saw a story earlier today. Mm. Um, I don't know when this happened of a baby that was punched by the father. Did you see that? And he's mm. like a really small baby was punched by the father. And the f- yeah, I, forehead I, I, I saw that story yesterday. I think I, I, was. I was thinking maybe we should put the video on, on the show, but I thought- Wait, there's, there's a video. Yeah, but I thought it's just too graphic. Was that a video? Yeah, it's a video. I saw a video of a baby crying. Oh. Yeah. I think I actually saw somewhere where- uh, a child was hit by mistake and the child died. I think I Th- said that could be another one, but okay. there is one where the child is is alive but was hit by the father. It yeah, was unfortunately, <laughs> even going to the children. Yeah, it's it's a baby, like not one who's able to walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, of course, you know, you say that uh, of late you've been hearing these stories. I think I hear them every week. Every week, yeah. yeah. In Eastern yeah. Province, I think that's Eastern Province, I heard of a man who killed his uh, stepson because that man is of Germany. <laughs> <laughs> so the, so it's not something to laugh about, but you yeah. You are making me laugh. <laughs> anyway. Mm, Carry on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, house turns into gruesome crime scene as husband takes own life after stabbing wife to death. Uh, it is believed that the couple of Lusaka's been with Ndeke phase one had some long standing, long standing marital dispute that led to the husband's gruesome murder of his wife. Uh, I don't think the English there was very correct, but moving on. Mike Elishabo, 44, strangled his 35-year-old wife, Valerie Franco, on Wednesday, 3rd April, 2024, around 16 hours, using an electric power adapter cable and subsequently stabbing her in the stomach with a kitchen knife. Mr. Elishabo is then alleged to have consumed three bottles of an over-the-counter pesticide, which led to his death. Ms. Franco, Ms. Franco's brother, Wayne, has told Diamond News that the family could not comment on the matter as they are still processing the tragedy. The couple leaves behind a six-month-old baby who, along with other children, were absent during the ordeal. Yeah, uh, that's that's a really sad story. Yeah, very. Uh, yeah, from the details, a, I don't know story. if... Uh, sorry? It's a disturbing story. Yeah, go on. Very disturbing, yeah. Uh, and from what you just read, I don't know if uh, this... Uh, Reporter here from Wadi Champagne got this report from the police directly. Yeah. But to me, I'm I'm thinking strangling her, then stabbing her. Yeah, I I was also wondering, like, if he strangled her with a cable, mm. didn't she die already? Was I don't know. That's why that's well, why I'm thinking. I don't myself. know if he was trying to verify. You know, I had an aunt who died mm. a couple Did of years ago. Did you just say ago. verify? Yeah, maybe like he's trying to verify that she's dead. <laughs> and and I'm I'm giving sure. I'm I'm saying this because I have a grandmother who passed away a couple of years ago mm. who was killed by the by the husband. It was actually in the news. Oh, sorry about that. So I didn't know that. Yeah. So she was she was a police officer. Mm. Uh she bought him a gun. And the gun she bought him, he used to kill her. And he keep he kept sh- shooting. I think he did maybe a total of seven shots. But the funny thing is that her sister was watching as it was happening. She says he was waiting for her to die. It's like he, he was standing over her body as she was, you know, feeding and mm. her last breaths. And he was just waiting to ensure that she's actually dead. When she moves a little, he shoots. Like there are people who are that cruel. So that rings in my mind. I, I remember that that was a very sad time for us. Uh, when I see this, the fact that he strangled her first and then stabbed her was, it's a psychopathic behavior, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it makes me think, uh, that's why I was telling you last time that um, we need to, we need to interrogate the root cause of this because this is clearly a mental issue. Someone yeah, got to a very yeah. dark place. Yeah. Um, I, it's hard to imagine, you know? Yeah. So I saw the report by Diamond, by the way. So this is why I'm thinking that probably they got the first-hand information from the police. Because when the police were going to the the house, the crime scene at that time, they they went with the journalists. Mm. So we saw videos of the blood and the house and they went around the house. There was actually a struggle. It, it, it was, I'm sure it was, oh, it was a I lot see. of terror. I, I, I didn't even watch the video. Yeah, so there was actually yeah. a struggle, a lot of broken stuff. Uh, ah. Blood was everywhere. So maybe as, like, if, as he was strangling her, she mm. was probably fighting for her life. Mm-hmm. And maybe he stabbed her like to just... I think probably there was actually an actual fight. Yeah. Or maybe they actually The police fought. would know, yeah. The police would know. Mm. Yeah, because of the other injuries. If yeah. they are there. Yeah, but... Uh, you know, the house, the, the door handles, there was blood everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, anyway, anyway it's, it's very disturbing. And... Um, uh, we are going to show you something, but this is for reporting purposes, purely for reporting purposes. This is not by any means us inferring any blame or uh, any form of, I, I know what we are going to. Yeah. Oh, no, let me just, let me say, w- let me help you. Yeah. Yeah. There is, uh, there are allegations flying around that yeah. uh, uh, our own, one of our ministers uh, was uh, uh, involved, sort of involved in this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the, the, the there's a, a phone call that leaked yeah. of uh, this late gentleman, Mr. Edishevo, yeah. uh, having, I don't know if I should even call him gentleman, 
uh, Mr. Edisha. Yeah, because mm. to me, that's a lot of weakness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. why would you let your mind get you to such a place? Yeah. That's a lot of weakness. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think that whatever happened to him in the marriage, it was the first time that it's happening to everyone, to mm. anyone. Mm. Yeah, um, I respect the, the circumstances of each situation being special. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, what kind of a man does that? Mm. Because... Your wife, and that's why you know all these cases of uh, uh, spouses killing each other. It it makes me think, wh- why? How are people getting into marriage? Because just last year mm. we had uh, about thirty six thousand divorces, right? You know that in Zambia, yes, thirty six thousand in a population of twenty million people. Only a few are married, Ooh. of course. Now, can that's you imagine? Staggering. Yes, because if you if you have to factor that in and find the average. You notice that every day of 2023, mm. hundred marriages were getting dissolved. Oh, About a hundred marriages. If you break it, yeah, yeah. Yes, imagine every day. So mm. why are people getting into marriage? And Mr. Ilishewo also couldn't just drink one bottle of a pesticide. He had to drink three. I wonder how that went. He was anyway, making sure, carry verifying, <laughs> as you are saying, verifying even he is on death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, this this makes me wonder a lot to say why, how are people getting into marriage? And I think there's a lot of lawlessness around. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I think people, sort of, people are generally getting into marriage for for improper reasons. Yes. Um, yeah. it, the world has changed. The mm-hmm. world has changed. The quality of people has changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, when two people get into marriage, it's no mm-hmm. longer like two people 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. The quality of people has, has changed. What people are looking for in marriage now is different mm-hmm. from what people looked for in marriage 20 years ago. So you're talking about, you're also talking about different sets of people getting married now. Yes, I hear you. But you know, the other reason why we're having all these problems is that because, you know, the, act, the fact is that the world is changing. Yeah. A lot of things are changing and we need to conform to a great extent. Mm. So if people are getting into marriage for the same, the exact reasons that they were getting into marriage and they are taught the same principles, because I'll give you simple examples. Mm. Why is it that the woman is the only one who sat down, thought about marriage for a lot of days and not a man? A man is just, it's, it's a casual thing, you know? Yeah, by the way, I don't think days are enough to teach someone on character that has been built over years. No, I mean, okay, I've, I guess those, uh, that's another story. Mm. But what I mean is that they get the women to sit down Actually, sometimes someone will be locked up in a room mm. just to say to tell them everything about marriage, how they are supposed to treat their husband. The different ways of dissecting a chicken to yes. to relay messages. Yes, different <laughs> ways of moving. <laughs> <laughs> so why why is it that the men are not being taught that? Uh, yeah, and you know, there's. I think that maybe we're just vin uh, Yeah, because uh, I don't know. It's. This is this is a huge thing. Yeah, and I realize we didn't do this today. This is why you guys, especially young men, watch Bible Talks. There is only one thing that I'm fully aware and sure of that is able to make someone innocent again, change them completely, do a whole U-turn to an individual's life. Preach. It's the word of God. If you expose yourself to the word of God, trust me, you're not going to be the same man after. I somehow agree with you. Yeah. Uh, the somehow is used loosely, of course, because, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. but you know, when you look at the Bible principles about marriage, uh, it, it, I'm saying loosely because I mean, uh, you don't really have to be a Christian to follow these, these principles. Yeah. Because uh, the, the, the Bible talks about loving your wife, talks about marriage in a lot of places. It talks about love itself. So, do you, so do you when it that, speaks about loving a man, yeah. uh, loving your wife, yeah. it's ever, it actually clarifies and says like Christ loved the church like, yeah. to the point that he gave his life for it. Mm. So if you love your wife that much, how would you then turn around and kill them? Yeah. Now, I also mentioned those divorce cases because I'm thinking if it fails, it's better you divorce. Mm. Because now it's we are getting a lot of numbers of people killing each other in marriage. Mm. So if you fail totally, just uh, get a divorce. Mm. A lot of people are doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, before we show you the video, I, I like something you said. You talked about the principles of the Bible. Mm. Just to add on, along with the principles of the Bible comes the power that is within the gospel. You know, the Bible says, the, 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 I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus, for it is the power of God unto salvation. There is power that comes with the word of God, that is able to make a man do what he ordinarily wouldn't do within his own will. So if you're struggling with anything and you want to stop, your will is not powerful enough to stop you. But there is power contained within the gospel that is able to help you.
Yep. <laughs> Amen. To the video. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Onalebo. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Who am I talking to? Okay, you are talking to Ilishebo. Ilishebo Mike. The Ilishebo Mike from where? Uh, just within Lusaka. The husband yes, to... Yes, my brother. The husband to Valerie Flanco. Okay. Yeah, I thought that... Yes, my brother. How are you today? I'm okay, I'm okay, thanks, uh, Honorable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just called so that uh, maybe we can have a mind to mind talk. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't okay. Know. I don't know whether you're free now, we can talk or we can meet. We talk. No, no, no. Why don't we meet up face to face? Because uh, I need to understand you have some issues that you would want to address. Yes. Okay. So, what time, where can we meet up? Uh, tell me. Uh, apparently, I'm, uh, I've just stepped out from, from home. I'm mm -hmm. at, I'm at water pose more. Okay. Yeah, but you can tell me where we can meet. We just sort uh, out this issue once and for all. Rather than, yeah, la true. yeah, rather than, uh, we have this conversation, this one comes up, this one comes up, but mm -hmm. we shouldn't be listening to the ladies at the end of the day. That's why I said, no, mm -hmm. let's, let me go. Instead of mm -hmm. me going the other way, it's better I address it with you as man to man. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in the next uh, couple of hours, say this is the one, say about three o'clock. Okay. Where, uh, where can we meet? Uh, well, somewhere where we can we can be free to discuss and. Uh, uh, and have a, a proper conversation. Uh, okay. So you know, you know the reason. Time. You know the reason why I've decided to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't have looked nice if I had to drive to your wife's working place and address these issues with her, because I know where she works. So I just said, uh, instead of me going the other way, let's have a conversation as man to man, so that we just close up this issue. Yeah, so, so I don't, I don't um, know which... You are, you are currently on Greatest Road, right? I'm in Greatest, yes. Yes. So, is a couple of hours too long? Is, uh, you want to meet sooner? No. Uh, what, uh, what time do you want us to meet? Uh, I'm suggesting around 14.30, thereabouts. 14.30 is not a problem with me. Okay. But so, somewhere around Greatest Road, uh, we'll, we'll find the location. Okay, I'll tell you where I'll be, then you find me there. No, sure. That was the phone call by Mr. Ilishewo and uh, the minister, I believe this is the Minister of Justice, Lambo Haimbe. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, it, we don't know whether they eventually did meet. Mm, what I would say though is that if there is something that Mr. Ilishewo did to spoil his whole case, if he had any case, was killing himself and his wife because <laughs> there's no one to verify his accusations now yeah which accusations we can't i can't state what he was accusing the man of mm. but he was definitely accusing him of something mm. yeah yeah you know to be honest with you if i was uh him uh and if this this is really him mm. yeah, because one aspect i should mention and uh, you know, I, I don't like people who are guilty to start Kunami uh, Zilavin. These are politicians. There are mm. a lot of things that happen. But the fact is that AI can do this. Mm. Like, this is one of the easiest jobs that AI can do. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm giving him a benefit of doubt. Mm. But if it was really him, I think that I should have resigned if it was me. Yeah. Because this is a moral issue. I mean, we don't expect uh, uh, these leaders to be perfect. Mm. Uh, because of course this doesn't look good on HH's cabinet. Mm. Uh, you remember when Nathan committed suicide? Yeah. He named the minister. The minister yeah. yeah. Of course there was no strong evidence like this. Because mm. if this was a phone call between the two, I mean this is strong evidence. Yeah, it's, it's can, not really evidence though. You know the thing is, even no, in the phone to call, me it's evidence in, in that the, the minister mm. knew about this man's wife. Yeah. Okay. From the way he responded, mm -hmm. yeah, he, I was also caught aback by the way he said, 
uh, I'm aware you have some issues. Yes, exactly. And the man introduced himself. Uh, the, the gentleman said, uh, I'm the husband. To first he said his name, and then he said, I'm the husband to uh, Valerie, Valerie Franco. And the man wasn't like, who's Valerie? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So it, it seems like, and he was so eager to meet him as well. I he, mean, he was a like, minister. Who did you call me that phone? At in, 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 dan, dan, dan. I, I, and I then agree. the man is even asking for his. <laughs> and you know, by the way, the threat worked because after the threat of saying he I, moved it from fifteen hours to fourteen thirty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have driven to your wives. But, it, <laughs> but it's, do you get what my point is? There uh -huh. was no accusation leveled, as per se, in the phone call saying. That's why I was asking saying you. you're doing this and doing that. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. is the, if there was any accusation mm -hmm. that he had leveled, mm -hmm. it's now done. Yeah, and we can't even talk about it right now because yeah. we don't have his side of the story. Yeah. We don't have the wife's side of the story. And these people married just uh, about a year ago. three bottles of pesticide. Yeah, three. I mean, uh, by the way. Oh, really? How long ago? I think one year. Ah. Because their child is, I think that's their first child. Is six eight months. months. Mm. About eight. Is it six? Six months, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was eight months old. Mm. Yeah, but six. you know, it just, uh, it's six months? Mm -hmm. Okay. Six months. Yeah. Once you have one hour, six months. Six months. That's what I'm saying. This is a very weak man. Yeah. Serious. How did you do that? Honestly speaking. Hey. Oh, he wasn't thinking about the child as he was doing all that. Eh? No, he wasn't. He was thinking of ending it. Like ending everything. People need to understand there is a, a concept in psychology. I was, I, I, I've been studying psychology. It's been long overdue. I need to finish. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing um, a, a distant program, but there's a concept in psychology that talks about idealizing an individual. Mm -hmm. The reason why people fail to have closure and move on when mm -hmm. they when they leave relationships or their hearts are broken mm -hmm. is because they tend to idealize the person they are they were with. Mm -hmm. Suddenly mm -hmm. all the negatives are rubbed off and all you can remember is the good. Mm -hmm. And sadly people tend to do that even in cases where someone cheats. Mm -hmm. They begin to idealize this person so much you feel like because this person cheats, I'll never find something of this quality. This person was the best there was. Uh -huh. Guys, there are 8 billion people on planet Earth. Uh, you eight. Know, you know, these theories of, uh, I hear men saying, uh, one key, if it opens a lot of key, a lot of locks, yeah. then it's a good key. Yeah. But if a lock is opened by a lot of keys, then it's a very <laughs> bad lock. Yeah, you know, to me, this kind of, and a lot of people like, a lot of people think it's normal for a man to go out there and have other women. Yeah. I know in this case, we are thinking that probably the woman was promiscuous. Mm. But I'm just saying because all these problems stem from that. Because if it's true that uh, they were in a relationship with uh, Mr. Haimbe, mm. I mean, Mr. Haimbe is married. That's why we also heard about the wife yeah. in, that, in that audio recording. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that, you know, we've been taking this too casual. And that, this is why I told you that... Uh, some of the things that we're believing in in the past, we should get rid of them. Because in the past, you heard of Shipikisha Club? Yeah. Yeah, they used to tell women, if and if your man cheats, just yes. may, as long as he comes back, it's mm. okay. Mm. That is not true. No. He can go out to sleep with other women. As long as he comes back home with you, then it's fine. Yeah, no, that's absolutely not. Yeah, and mostly yeah. this has happened because the women are not empowered. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's a shit show. It <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that word is not a lot. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You're, you're free, you're free, you're free. <laughs> Thank you're you so free. much. Yeah. It's a shit show. <laughs> Marriages, breaking, people killing each other, what? But for me, I advocate for a divorce more than... Uh, even getting violent because you know other, the other thing is that this violence and this it starts pangono pangon yeah so someone will start insulting you then they'll slap you yeah pangono pangon the next thing they'll strangle you and once stab you once they begin to feel they have rights over you yeah the other day they'll strangle you and stab you and just say since uh, you are sleeping with other men oh, I didn't say that's what she was doing this is just mm. another example mm. since you are sleeping with other men you just need to go out of this earth so mm. that you never sleep with another man again yeah yeah. T to me also that's a very serious mental disorder do you, do you see how interestingly mm. I know I keep bringing in Bible talks but mm. I guess it's our way mm. of advertising of course, it bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and also that's your thing yeah do you, do you realize how we've been talking about this a couple of weeks now uh, yes uh, the, the death the transition mm. and it's just funny that all these deaths are happening around the time we're talking about this stuff. I, mm -hmm. I just would like to imagine what the, I just like to imagine what these people think will happen when they off themselves. Like mm -hmm. many people have this idea that I'm suffering now. I'm in 
deep, deep, deep pain. Mm. If I switch it off, the pain will go. The pain will go because I'll just, mm. I will not know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember we had this conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm trying to dodge it. It's 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 not yeah. It's not a very pleasant sight yeah. right, right now. Yeah, yeah, because recently also I had someone who shot, I think that was in Chalala, Shantumbu Road somewhere. Someone shot the girlfriend yeah. in the abdomen. She survived. But he thought the worst had happened, so he so killed him. Killed him. <laughs> yeah. Recently. I think it's last <laughs> month in, in March. Crazy. Yeah, so this is how crazy our world is becoming. Yeah. And you can't take away from the fact that most of these have been perpetrated by men. Mm. So mm. it's important that we look at the men. Mm. We look at their mental capacity, their mental capabilities, what they think they are bringing into marriage. I'm not married, by the way, mm. uh, so I might not know. Yeah, and stuff. these are not just husbands doing it. Even boyfriends are doing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I just the, gave the you example, an example. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. So, yeah, because, you know, these relationships, sometimes you're in a relationship, and you just feel like, ah, moon to his own. And you got cheat his own. Mm. Yeah, but you know, as a man, you're supposed to be patient enough. You cool down, think about it. Think about the, the repercussions of have, what you're about to do. Have a high self-esteem. Yes. Think of yourself highly. Yes. You know, if someone cheats on you, it yeah. does not reflect poorly on you. Yeah. It reflects poorly on them. Yeah. Have a high self-esteem. Yes, exactly. Because when it comes to men, I know I'm a man because... I know that being in a relationship but not having to cheat is not a, an easy thing. Mm. It's a very difficult thing. Mm. So there are some people who are mentally capable of staying with one woman yeah. without cheating. That's not easy. And that's why I encourage you to get the word of God. The word of God will help every man yeah. be faithful. If, if someone is faithful to God, they'll be faithful to you. Mm. If someone fails to be faithful to God, mm. who can kill the body and the soul? How will they be faithful to you? Mm. Yeah, so it's it's sad that we have to resort to violence as opposed to uh working on ourselves i think anyone who hasn't come to that place of uh, maturity should reconsider getting into a relationship instead of uh, resulting in what we've seen yeah so you avoid making calls to ministers and assuming that things are going on and also avoiding one bottle of pesticide and going for three Anyway, that's a bad joke, I guess. All right, so we've come to the end of the show. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Again, the show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time. And the podcast is available on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Yeah, this was Monday's show, and we hope you enjoyed it. From me and Mr. Chofaya, it is bye-bye. See you on the next one. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.